I'm delighted now to move on to our next uh, um, award, which is so appropriate for Sheila McKinley's memory. If there was one person who could shout out, it was certainly Sheila. And you really had to turn the microphones down in the studio. And if you were in Brighton, you could hear her in London. Um, and I'm absolutely delighted to introduce Anna Rayburn, who's been shouting out on the radio since 1972, um, and out of columns of newspapers and magazines assorted. So, Anna Rayburn. Thank you. The Shout Out Award supports the campaigns of London-based school students and is sponsored by the City Bridge Trust. Our campaign is about a mineral called coltan, which is found in your mobile phones and the water surrounding it. We're trying to get people to recycle their old mobile phones so that um, the companies can reuse and not buy conflict minerals. They have a campaign called Five million for your mobile? Question mark. The question mark was missed off. They were most upset about it. And it campaigns to raise awareness about the conflict minerals found in mobile phones and encourage people to recycle their old phones. In Congo, five million people died over the conflict mineral. Some people our age or even younger have to work in the mines and we want to help people who don't have the same privileges as us, like going to school or having a home and everything like that. The winners are Bianca Illy, the sisters Kodithiwaku, see, um, Ruchi Shah and Patricia Zelezniak from Hendon School Barnet. Will you welcome my winners, please? Campaigning is really important because it's our way to get our voice heard um, and we don't vote for the parliament or a government so this is like our voice. To us as a group it means a lot to win the, this award as we get more recognition and support from other people and it's also a satisfaction as a personal achievement that we were heard as a group. The next step in our campaign is to take our campaign to like our school and our local community and raise awareness about what's happening in Congo and provide recycling points for the mobile phones. And we've also spoken to our local MP Matthew Offord and he said that he would raise our question in Parliament and see what he could do for us.